The Glen Waverley Line has 13 stations on it and is located southeast of Melbourne. With these arrows, hopefully you can see it. So here we are, Glen Waverley Station. Today we're going to be going to three stations that have been closed, as well as learning some interesting facts about this very great line. Take it away, future train man. First opened in 1890, the line left the Hawthorne Line at Burnley and terminated at Darling. The line was extended to connect with the Outer Circle Line, but pulled back to Darling in 1895. The line was completed in 1929, full of history and much different to what it looks like now. First, we have Sindel Station, known for the 1989 crash caused by a missed signal injuring 75 people. Next, Mount Waverley, one of the busiest stations on the line and was the first station in Melbourne named a premium station in 1995. The setting around this bridge between Mount Waverley and Jordanville has changed dramatically. Jordanville Station is named after the Jordan family who were early settlers and is one of the prettiest stations in Melbourne and looks much the same as it did 90 years ago. The bushland around this bridge at Jordanville Station has also changed quite a lot. And the bridge before Holmes Glen Station has been widened to cope with the increasing suburbanised area. Holmes Glen Station is connected directly to Holmes Glen Institute of TAFE and is the site of a crash that happened in 2000, although there is not one archival image of the old station, so please let me know if you have one. Built in 1929, East Malvern Station was the terminus of this line for one year. Even though tracks went past the station site in the 1890s for the Outer Circle Line, the station wasn't built until 40 years later in 1929. Our first station built in 1890. Darling Station is hidden from all roads and has station buildings dating back to 1979. Named Iris for it was the name of the explorer's ship and built with nothing but a gothic residence near it. Glen Iris station buildings are even older than Darling's, built in 1975. The Malvern area was originally called Gardiner, thus the station name. It is the only station on this line that will be affected by the level crossing removals happening all around Melbourne. Taronga is an Aboriginal word meaning modern or new, and an area between Hawthorne and Malvern that the station was named after. Like Darling, the buildings haven't been updated in 44 years. Alright, so I'm at Keong Station because it used to have a different name. Originally named North Melbourne Station, but renamed as there was confusion between North Melbourne Station, Keong Station is home to the oldest tram to train crossing and one of three in Melbourne. Kuyong means resting place in indigenous languages. So this station was originally called North Melbourne Station. But there's also another thing around this area that's very interesting and it involves a closed station. Now coming up, we have Old Turak Road Station. Opened and closed before any photos were taken, Turak Road Station is situated on the site of the Turak Road level crossing now getting removed. Any information on this station would be highly appreciated. Unfortunately there are absolutely no remnants of the station and any slight thing would have been demolished when they flattened all this out. So there you have Turek Road Station. I bet you didn't know that was a thing. Anyway, I'm back at Kuyong Station and I'm going to head off to our next station, Richmond Park. Before we get too excited, Hangington Station is the only station in Melbourne without disabled access due to the steep terrain. The only access to Platform 2 is by a footbridge as St Kevin's College owns all the land outside Platform 2. So, Richmond Park Station was only open for two months and so there is very little history on it. The alignment of the tracks was very different in 1892 when it was open so I have no idea where it would have been. If you have any idea or information on where this station was, please leave it down in the comments below. Anyway, let's head back to Burnley Station. Opened as Burnley Street in 1880, it was renamed to just Burnley in 1882. 
the Burnley Street level crossing was removed in 1966 and an innovative flyover was completed to help Glen Waverley trains leave their other lines in 1944. The old bricks under the platform are a cool feature at Burnley that not many stations have. Thank you very much for watching this video. Please like and subscribe if you did enjoy the video and comment your thoughts down below. I am working very hard on a Port Melbourne video, but until then, bye.